You are now watching Dilio T2K. Dilio T2K. We are taking over. Hey, what's up? Back again. This is Dilio, aspiring music producer and independent recording artist. Coming to you live. You're here. I'm Dilio. The channel is Dilio T2K. The website, Dilio T2K.com. And in this video, we're going to talk about 24 karat magic by bruno mars the hot track that everybody's digging on right now with the 80s vibe and a lot of my friends and i were kind of like wow okay this is cool because um you know i like to do a little bit of a throwback sound myself which i'll be doing in the next album called mags box um and just a disclosure guys you know this is a educational slash fun tutorial slash really laid back very casual nothing official just enjoy it, you know, because there's, you know, I want to, and, and also on top of that, I just want to thank everybody who's been commenting on the videos. I really appreciate that, and and I try to find time to reply to them because I just want you guys to know that I'm there, that I'm there, that I hear you, and I really appreciate the encouragement and the comments. And, um, you know, obviously this song has got a lot of synthesizers in it, um, and we're going to talk about a little bit of music theory. I hope I don't disappoint the music theory heads out there. Um, and we're just going to have some fun with it and let's just dive right in, you know, no better time than now. So I'm going to start off with the drums and in this situation, I'm going back to the Lindrum. Anything throwback, if you want the eighties throwback sound, it's always good to go back to the Lindrum. I don't know. Was it 9,000, 2000? I know somebody will let me know in the comments and, um, I've just got a kick, a snare, clap, hat. And we're just going to make an eight bar loop. All right, so let's dive in. Well, I got to make sure I'm on the right beat. Two, three, four, and. Right. Really simple, and then we're just going to do a, and just going to do some open and close hi-hats on that, so let's do that. And I'm just going to mix that down. That hat's a little hot. And uh, what you can do in pad mode is choke it. So what I mean by choke it is that we're going to make one sound cut off the other so they don't overlap. Notice how the, the hat, the closed and the open hat sounds overlap. So we're just going to make them choke each other. We're going to set them to choke group one. Let me see. Now we have that. Okay, so we got that. Right, so let's do the bass line now. Uh, this is a bass sound, and this is on chemicals. Q, chemicals graphic. <sighs> chemicals. And so let's talk a little bit of music theory. All right, we're in the key of uh, F. Okay, and uh, the patch I'm using is called 24K Bass. It's a new patch that I'm putting in chemicals. If you already bought chemicals, you got the sound, you know, and if you want the sound, you can get a copy of chemicals. So, and, and again, guys, I'm using a little bit of creative liberty. This is what I kind of overheard in the song while riding in the car, you know. And, and it's just in the key of F, and I'm just going from an F to an E flat. F, A flat, B flat, C, B flat, A flat, B flat, B flat. So, and I can't really quite glissando because I got machine quantizing. So we're just gonna do another eight bar loop. And let's put that down like this. Thank you. 
And you know, they, and at that turnaround, there's a. That's how you get that sound. So you go. But typically, a nice glissando sound like that, you play live. And um, I got everything kind of quantizing right now. But if I were to, say, do my own song for Magic Box, I would probably get the Moog out and play it live and do all that <laughs> stuff in real time, you know, so that the quantize doesn't grab the, the notes. So I would play it in real time so the quantize doesn't <laughs> grab the notes, right? All right, so we got that. So let's... Uh, So now we got the bass line. So let's talk about some more theory. So, so uh, basic theory is this. So we got a bass note of uh, F right there. But I'm just going to tell you the chord by itself. So I got a C minor chord. Then we're going to add a seventh. C minor. C minor 7th. Then we're going to move it down two half steps. So, so the C minor chord, the C minor 7th chord would be C, E flat, G, B flat. Then B flat, C sharp, F, A flat. Another minor chord, major chord. Minor chord, add a seventh. C. A flat major. Uh, a flat minor with a seventh. Okay. And then we're going to move it up to a C sharp minor. Actually, a C sharp major, because this is minor right here. C sharp major, C sharp, F, A flat with a C and then we're going to diminish it by moving the F down a half step to E and the A flat down to a to a I'm sorry A flat yeah to a G so we're here and I'm going to take some creative liberty and add another note so I'm adding a B flat there. Like this. Okay, so I'm going to put the chords down, like this. Okay, so that's basically the chords right there. Diminished half step. So diminished chords are usually built by the intervals between the notes. So, so that's a major chord, right? Because a major chord has two whole steps. A whole step is two half steps put together. So, so that's two whole. That's two whole steps. And then a half half. And I'm I'm I know I'm messing it up. I just know see I play mostly by ear, so when it sounds good is when I roll with it. So that's a major minor diminished diminished minor major major to A minor okay 
So let's add the little plug synth sounds and also that that pad sound, that synth pad sound. That's called. Uh, I'll show you on the screen. That is called 24 karat synth brass, and that's a sound I'm adding to chemicals so that whoever already has it can can have it there for free. All right, so we're just going to add the plug synth sound. And that's a that's a synth plug sound. I probably got it called what did I call it? 24 pluck. So that's also in chemicals as well. So and you don't have to use this in funk. You can use this in anything. So I'm just going to repeat that. All right, so I'm going to create another eight bar loop and let's put that down. I'm going to break it down in the mix just a little bit. Here we go. Right? That's basically it right there. So we're gonna try and do the the what I guess you could say the pre-course, and it's really simple. And uh, I got another pad sound, which is uh, pad two. It's another sound. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, 24 karat synth brass, dark. And actually, you can make it guys with the modulation wheel right two three four but so let's try that see how many times I needed that so we're gonna I'm gonna let that beat we're actually gonna carry the original beat over to that that section so I'm going to bring that there, and uh, we're going to play the pads, like this. We're just going to bring that modulation wheel back down to zero. Uh, it, I, I really don't like to do automation in machine because it's just not it's just not easy right now for me. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. So now I'm trying to make sure I got everything down. So, let's see here. So we got that there. I'm going to see if I can draw some, some automation. And, uh, See if I can kind of get it to uh, open up a little bit towards the end. There we go. A little bit of automation there. That's how we do it right now. And I just want to make sure that. Okay. So obviously the automation isn't working how I think it should. Let's go and keep moving. So we're going to add the bass line. We're just doing a C sharp. And we're just gonna let that ride. Here we go, like this. Well, wait a minute. Let me make sure I got a eight bar loop. All right, let's see if I can put that down. We're 
back there right there and then we just come back to the beginning so if i take the loop mode off we'll have the beat Right? Same chords, but just in a more simpler progression. And yeah, typically I would I would probably make the filter open up right here. Like that. So that's pretty much the whole thing right there. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please make sure to check out the links that are going to come up on the screen. And also check out Chemicals, my uh, sound library for... Uh, Native Instruments Massive, if you want some of these sounds that you see in this tutorial. If you already bought chemicals, this is a free addition to you for free. And um, there's going to be some more stuff coming soon. Uh, actually, we're going to be doing a little bit of uh, iOS music. And we're going to talk about uh, T-Silicon products. We're going to talk about Korg products. And we're going to talk about making music with this. And uh, so stay tuned for that going to be fun so we're going to be doing some mobile stuff so stay tuned for that all right well thank you guys for watching i'm going to play the beat for you make sure you subscribe and hit the like button leave your comments below i like to read them and i'll see you guys later This video is sponsored by Chemicals, a preset library for massive, including pads, leads, bass sounds, and more. Be sure to visit dailyot2k.com to hear it live and pick up your copy today.